Hello, welcome to the void. Let me choose the game. Spirit Island. Activate. There we go. Welcome to Hanalabra Live. I am John, aka Migrant P, and Twitch window went away. It's all right. I'll be right there. Uh, we're playing some more Spirit Island this week. Uh, we're going to be previewing some new content once again. Last week was Fractured Days, and this week is the other part of the next update, uh, Aspects, which are new facets, new abilities for existing spirits. So Jagged Earth is going to have six of those, so we'll have a look at them in a minute here. Um, Handle Labor Games believes in civil rights for everyone and in being as inclusive as possible. Anyone working against those goals is not welcome and will not be tolerated. So be excellent to one another. Say hello in the chat. Feel free to ask questions. Uh, I am the lead developer, so I am the one who can answer them. Uh, yeah. I think the camera thing doesn't really like the lighting and it's making the microphone glitch around, but maybe I'll just put the microphone down a little bit and it will realize that it's not part of me or that it is part of me maybe it think now it thinks it's part of me uh another anomaly you're welcome uh yeah it's great to have spirit island digital and it's getting more and more complete as it were uh so let's pop into the new game screen uh i'm gonna go with i was thinking i'm gonna play two spirits games and we'll see how many aspects we get through so if we choose low complexity, we might get one by randomness. And let's go with a random. Oh, we did get one. All right. So we have Earth here uh, with the resilience aspect. Uh, Gordian Tangle, welcome. And thank you for your kind words. Also, hello, Evil Dice Monkey. How's Mini John doing? Mini John's doing okay. So, um, we have Rising Heat, but we also have uh, Earth, Vital Strength of the Earth, with the Resilience Aspect. This is one of the six coming in Jagged Earth. Um, and as you can see, there's no separate card in the digital version. It is just another spirit panel. So with Earth, the change is to the special rules. So uh, we have a new special rule. It replaces the existing special rule. Uh, in lands with your sacred site, it takes eight additional damage to add blight to the island. So usually 10 damage adds blight does not protect a Han at all. So instead of your defend three, you get this effect, which is kind of interesting. You can let your lands be full of invaders and not worry about it, but you probably don't want the Dahan to be there too. I'll show an example of another that changes more, like Lightning Swift Strike. Uh, this aspect actually changes the innate power um, and uh, leads a special rule, whereas this one has no special rule and has an extra innate power. So there's lots of different things that can happen. But let's play a game with uh, resilience here. Let's go Sweden. Let's let's pump it up to uh, yeah Sweden three, maybe Sweden four, Sweden four, and get all our options in. Let's go. So yeah, aspects can be picked randomly for you and everything, um, or you can choose them, uh, like I just showed in the new game setup. So, and there's going to be six in Jagged Earth. Uh, Earth has one, Lightning has two, River has one, and Shadows has two. I know people are excited about the ones that are, will eventually come in Promo Pack 2, but uh, those are not part of Jagged Earth. So, but eventually, and of course, eventually, Nature Incarnate, we hope to make two. Resilience is the ultimate screw you, I got mine. <laughs> uh, all right, so yeah, speaking of that, they're coming into the mountains, and we can see the Ravage here, four damage is nothing. Even when they build a city, nine damage won't matter. So we can pretty much ignore that land. It's taken care of. Uh, this land here 
a... What we can do is set up a sacred site in this land. And then both these lands, it won't matter. And we can defend this. I think that's going to be a good plan. Uh, question about Fractured Days and Second Wave. The FAQ say the power set aside have no ability to pay additional costs, but it's more fun and thematic to allow up to four times to be paid for a set aside power. Uh, yep, yeah, that. I don't know if we've implemented that, but uh, usually we do that sort of thing. Um, I'm not sure if we've done that for uh, Fractured Days yet. Yeah, I can take a quick look. I'll make a note to look into that after. Uh, usually, like, for example, the the one with Draw Towards a Consuming Void, we do that. Um, we try to make them be useful and interesting and roughly go to what the FAQ says. So sometimes we just asked Eric and, like, I think, for example, uh, uh, Unleash a Torrent like just does eight damage in one land, I think, basically something like that. So yeah, so things like that. Yeah, and I don't know about the other thing that I know you like to ask about that every week, but that's not in my, not something that's not something that I know about. Uh, okay, so we're going to, Add a presence here, and we'll make a sacred site there next turn. Oh, I have I have animations turned off for uh, testing. That's why everything was zipping along. Promise you won't ask for at least a month. Sure. Uh, let's go in here and is it still zipping along with? Oh, I thought I just turned off animations. I thought everything was. Okay, now things are moving at their normal pace. I don't know what was going on there. Maybe it was just something in my brain. Uh, so, we have Earth taking care of three of the Ravages. And Rising Sun is like, I'm here too. I can just push them away very easily. Let's push them away. We just need to play one card. We could also always play two cards and, like, destroy an explorer or something. But I like sort of getting up on the energy economy quicker, so... Let's... Make a sacred site here so we have more range to things. And the minus one is going to be helpful. Coming from a love of rules and complexity. <laughs> That's good. I think it's most likely we're not going to have it be part of the island survive, but you never know. If you want an answer from my opinion, most likely that's just not going to be a thing. From the perspective of how to show it on the screen and everything. Uh, okay, so we have Sands coming up next, which Rising Heat is happy with. And we have No Blight. That is going to Blight right now, but once we make a Sacred Site, it won't. And there we're going to defend it. And here we're going to stop it right now this way. Uh... I think... Yeah, I'd rather have Mordahan in there. Maybe. In any case, I don't want the one to on there on his own. Because of Sweden. Uh, and so we push more stuff in here. We still have another turn before they ravage. We can probably manage to blow them up with our innate or something. Uh... First wave will include all the aspects from Jagged Earth. Are there any plans to add later aspects before their expansions, or will you have to wait? I'm pretty sure you'll have to wait, because they belong with the other expansions. But we are going to be focusing on finishing up Jagged Earth. That is our plan that we have announced. All right. Alright. 
So, uh, draw the fruitful earth can stop one build. Basically, just one build. Um, we could get three to Han into a land, which right now won't really do much, but uh, maybe. Maybe someday. It makes there be one less damage there, which does matter for Sweden. So let's bring another guy in. And let's combine the Dahan because of Sweden's escalation. But to find out, how does Sweden's extra blight work with Earth's new special rule? I don't think it changes anything. Um... If the invaders deal at least, do at least six damage to the land, add an extra blight. Oh, right. And so they're doing nine damage to the land, but it doesn't add blight. Uh, I think Sweden requires it to add blight, right? I'm not sure if that's in the FAQ. Is that in the FAQ? Let's look it up. Uh, resilience aspect uh is the six or more damage to land check of kingdom sweden's level on heavy mind affected by boosted land's health yes so they would need 14 damage to add to blight and the same for habsburg yeah so basically it's increasing the land's health which maybe they would change the way that's written now uh, and maybe they'll change the wording. It doesn't change it mechanically, I don't think. Or, like, yeah. So I'm pretty sure no blight is correct. Uh, that's by the FAQ, and that's how it's working here. So uh, let's go in here and make it so that nothing happens there. Uh, we could get to Han in somewhere and then destroy two fewer. That's actually really good for... Resilience, right? Just like have Dahan in there. Um, so I'm not going to play it this turn, I guess. That's good elements. I like this combo. Let's get that. And let's add a presence here. I think we start trying to get to two card plays. We can defend here. Yeah, so now no Blight. Oh, yeah, and stone can... If if you have stone with earth, with I, which I did do a test, and it's awesome. They do so much damage to themselves. <laughs> Not actually to themselves, but, you know, how a stone works. Uh, so no Ravage down here. We don't really need to worry about sweltering exhaustion unless we want to skip the build. We could skip the build just to kill all that stuff in there. Can I play three cards? No. So I can't actually get the second level of my innate. Uh, in, by any means. Just wondering if I want to gain a power card here. Gain a power card means I could maybe get something that does two damage. Let's see. I got fire and air. That's strife. Strife is actually enough. Badlands is enough, right? If I could have a Badlands, but I can't. This actually adds Badlands. But I need to be able to play this and also have these two elements. I think it's only fire in the sky here that does it, right? It strikes one town. We kill the other town. We prevent the build. We kill the explorers. It's like, what if we use our whole turn to solve one land? I mean, we don't we aren't really doing anything else, so it's a good card. I'm going to take fire in the sky. It's such a great card. 
we have some questions. I picked up Horizons and Branch and Clot in the recent sale. I've been enjoying the game. It's super nice to be able to fit in a few turns from my commute. Do you need to own the base game in order to use Jagged Earth Aspects? Uh, yes, because those spirits are for the base game spirits. So you need to have the spirit in order to use the aspect. But you know, sales happen, so maybe you want to get the core game too. Uh, okay, we're going to add one more presence. Maybe we'll go somewhere not... Uh, yeah, you're welcome. Maybe we'll go somewhere not a... Whatchamacallit? Sand. Let's go in here so we can make a sacred site here, probably. Sand Mountain. I'm going to play these two cards. Oh, I, I wanted to play three cards, didn't I? <laughs> they are going to build the city. Uh, so it doesn't really matter. Well, it's fine. Uh, if we build the city and we can't deal with it, we'll skip the... What if I do this and we... Yeah, I don't know. Problem is we end up with too much stuff in there. I can do this, but we still end up with a town and a city and one strife. So it doesn't really change anything, does it? I need to save that for next turn to skip the ravage, really, unless something happens to help. Yeah, you get Sweden and England, lots of other spirits. Uh, more island boards, right? Uh, how will the aspects be handled for randoming? Uh, they will be handled, so, basically, with equal priority to the regular spirit. So can, you could just consider the regular version of the spirit to be an aspect as well, and then... So if they have one aspect, it would be 50-50 which one you get, and so on. Yeah, the Steam Summer Sale is coming. As it always does. So we're officially not able to talk about it. <laughs> okay, I'm reaching the point of this Arabic coffee that I should stop drinking it or it will become more solid than liquid. You won't be playing lightning five times enough. No, it, like, it will random lightning and then random Witch of Lightning's aspects. Similar to Sentinels where it picks a hero and then picks a variant or non-variant at random. Uh, okay, let's strife. I mean, we don't have to strife one of these towns now, but it'll be strife for later. Do I, would I rather play like Gift of Searing Heat and give energy over there? We really don't need to play Fire in the Sky this turn, do we? That's the thing. We can save an energy and like gain more energy instead. That seems like a better deal. And we're just going to block that Ravage next turn anyway, so... So it goes. Yeah, Earth... Earth. I mean, Earth can go Majors anytime anyway, so... Uh, add Presence to align with Dahan. We have that? Earth does not have a Dahan in its lands, because this version of Earth doesn't want that. Uh, so this only gets us one Presence. Uh... If I had gone top track, I would have the fire now. The more you know. Uh, yeah, heat can heat can do it. Uh, the question is, is that worth it? We would probably have... Oh, we have so much energy. We could just spend energy. The only water we have is literally on that card. Yeah, I don't get the fire. I would have gotten the fire if I went double presence, but I didn't do that. Uh, yeah, the top option does give them minus one health and blight in the sand, which is not a big deal, potentially. 
Minus one health means I can kill that city. That's interesting. Uh... Oh, yeah, I'd rather, I mean, I'd rather kill the city in F8. I think I can probably solve F8 without having to do the Ravage skip. But let's see. Uh, let's let the land wither. It lacks water. Boop. It lacks water. Boop. Each beast deals two damage. There's no one. Oh, there is someone around. Hey, look, we killed a city. <laughs> <laughs> Each version of Lightning and Shadow is going to be fairly rare and random. I mean, it's going to be equally likely. So, is that rare? I don't know. What would you. Well, I don't understand what would be more. <laughs> More better. Uh, the more aspects there are, the more likely that there will be an aspect. All right, so... I can kill a city here. We still end up having a Ravage problem, but... I could also, yeah, like you said, I could kill a city there. They are building in the jungle now, so maybe, yeah, we're just going to skip that. Now it makes sense to do this, I think, a lot, so. And two damage to explorers only. We could preserve this. Uh, actually, why don't we stop that build first? And this is going to be stopped by the disease. Specific version of lightning is more rare than any serpent. I guess so. That's not a problem. That's the nature of it. So. All right. You don't have to tell me how to play the game, by the way. I do know how to play the game. But feel free to ask questions and stuff. Uh, okay. So we've got not a big deal. Ravage, we can block that. This one is strife yeah strife handles that this one could be just could just let it happen i think we'll probably just let it happen in favor of other things uh no earth is not the only one programmed uh we'll be showing off some other ones today most likely uh Yeah, we can get in here for the sacred site if we like. We would have to do a reclaim to do that. We could also get in here for that. I like going in there for that. Because there's blight there already. And we could just skip that or let it happen. We also let this ravage happen and let the Dahan fight back, but uh, River is Sunshine in Jagged Earth. Ah, you're welcome, exasperated cultist. I do my best. <laughs> Not always appreciated, but I try my best. Uh actually Bird's Cry Warning combined with Ritual Destruction is pretty sweet, isn't it? Which actually means that the problem is I can't 
reach that. I wonder if I reclaim just to get presence there then. Because we can hit this with rituals. I think we do the reclaim literally just to get presence in there. We've changed our mind. We're going to blow this up instead. Big, dumb, rock himbo. Yeah, I like Earth. Earth is good. We're going to blow this up with Rituals and Bird's Cry Warning. Unless, if I get play draw, I get the repeat, right? Which is potentially better. It does maybe mean that I gather... Yeah, we could always defend it the following turn if there's too many explorers there. It means we could maybe stop a build somewhere else. There is a lone explorer here that could get converted. These these guys could get converted, but we kind of want them to be. No, they're not they're going to be they're going to be fine. I think we're fine. Bad things can happen, but we'll take it as it comes. Uh, over here we want to play these two cards. If I play the two cards, oh, and now I don't have enough earth to hit the second threshold. I would have the fire, but not the earth. Yeah, I'm in this the awkward position where I can only get to three card plays if I don't have three cards. I think that's okay. I think we want to grow more. Get a major power next turn. Let's put a sacred site in here. I don't need that fire. I don't, do I get to, I don't get to, yeah, I don't get to place presence on my reclaim. So we're gonna do this and just have two cards for a little while. I think it's okay. We're going to strike here. Why well, have fire in the sky thresholded, hey? Or uh, potentially repeated. So we could have fire in the sky this, but it's just one blight. I think I'm okay with that. I want to repeat draw the fruitful earth. Sacred Sites under threat. Holy moly, I'm glad I clicked the fire. Because we have many lands of Sacred Sites and Invaders. One, two, three, four. Twelve energy. We have four fire to begin with, and we have lots of energy. We could even forget card with fire. Ignore that Earth has an innate. Yeah, it's not a major thing. Uh, okay. Do we want to just pay? We could just pay. We have plus a lot of energy, so I think we just pay. We each pay four. Uh, yeah, we've had suggestions about information showing for this event or whatever, but something that's on the list to potentially add. All right, so we paid enough that we need to pay. We don't need to pay, but we want to pay. Two damage. Two damage destroys cities with rising heat around. 
Each beast generates fear. How about you go in there? And we can gain a minor power? No. Skip explore actions in lands with two to hot. So if they explore mountains, we're in pretty good shape. Uh, we are ravaging. Not there. Sands comes back, so they do convert here. Interesting. I think we still do our plan of getting Dahan here. Uh, and rituals there. Oh yeah, we can do this to kill the explorers that go in there. If we want. I mean, it might be better to, like, do that. So what if there's a bunch of explorers there? We'll just keep skipping the Ravage and eventually kill them. Because I want... I only do five damage here. Which... If there's extra explorers. It's not good. Let's bring all the Dahan so we don't have... A lone one. We could leave a lone one in the sand, but I don't want to do that. Cool, cool. And we can stop this build. Alright, so we only have one jungle, and it's going to be blocked, so I think we can gain a power card. Go for a major. Uh, we have this happening. Where'd my friends go? <laughs> yeah, I don't really have cards. I super need to play this turn, right? That's the thing. I could guard the healing line here just to make sure they defend and everything. Maybe I should have pulled those explorers and just... If I'm just going to play guard the healing land, that's the only thing I have to play. So let's actually go back and gather in explorers. Because it turns out... I don't have anything else to do. So we may as well, unless they get the whole plus damage if they have uh, three or more invaders. We'll see, I guess. Probably be fine. It won't cascade anyway, right? Wouldn't one damage to each be great here? Let's see what we get over here. I think it's still minor now because we spent all our energy. Destroy three towns. And destroy a city. Because we definitely have three suns. So we can't play three cards, though. We only have two suns. They're now having a party. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh... I don't mind Drought as, like, a card. But it doesn't do exactly enough there. I mean, it does almost enough. I can... I just need one more damage to kill the city. And it adds Blight at the end, so they die. So this is one more damage. Right, and we need to gather a presence so that it's a sacred site again. 
or whatever. We don't have to, yeah, we can do it in whatever order. That should do it. We And we get this two damage somewhere. That seems good. Uh, over here, then, we still don't know what we're doing. But well, we're doing Guard the Healing Land and something else. So let's just get one more minor power. Defend five. Move Blight or push up to three. Sands Wetlands. Or... Yeah, I don't know. These all work. Might be nice to remove that Blight. Uh, might be nice to have a card with water on it. Either of them, really. We do have Sands and Wetlands with Blight. We have lands with Dahan with Blight. We'd like to push through Dahan. There's lots of things we wanted to. I think this is more useful with our kit, so let's take that. And get energy. We can remove the Blight in the land here or push the Dahan. We can decide what we're going to do later. Diamond of Marsis, it is fun, but I don't think it fits with what's going on here. Plus one damage? Nope. Choose a land with city, build there. Also, we're pushing from a land with disease. That's not doing anything. Gather Dahan into land with Dahan. Defend for Dahan. I don't think that's doing anything either. Well, I guess there there is going to be a town here. Uh, we don't want to actually build here, because if we do, then that's too much damage, right? There's nine right now. We can push this into here, because we're going to get defend per Dahan there, so. Oh. We're not. Let me go back. Why can't I go back? The undo button is not there. I want to choose a different land to push with the beast vent. No new info has been revealed since Pretty sure. Pretty sure that's a bug. That's a new bug. Oh, we're taking a blight because of that. Unless the fear card saves us. Maybe the fear card saves us. I think it's because there's no other Dahan nearby, we couldn't gather. Make, oh, we can gather the town into the coastal land now. Okay. <laughs> it makes it build a city. So we do have that downside. I could gather it here and then there. Okay, we're going to do that. <laughs> The fear card did save us in a way. Postal lands. I love the little flags. I'm so glad we added that. Okay. So. This does two damage. Is that useful? It's useful there. Call to tend would be nice to be able to use. 
to do something with Dahan. Removing that blight is not that useful. If I push through Dahan, like, into here, then I can, like, not totally blow it up, but, like, do some damage next turn. They could... Ex oh, they can't explore jungles. So, actually, yeah, I think that's pretty good. There is a risk that wetlands comes up and they convert there. Like, a pretty high risk. This is either wetlands or mountain. So, I don't love that. That means leaving them there is better. <laughs> I wonder if, like, killing... I can't reach there, but, like, stopping a build totally is better. If I push Dahan so that they kill this guy... I think that might be the better use of pushing, right? He's putting... Dahan in these places... Because jungle already came up. I think actually putting two in here is better because they might remove the blight for us. And the disease should stop the build there potentially. So, okay. We don't have to gather this here because these are all going to die from this. And our secret site doesn't need to go anywhere else. Oh, I wonder, can we... Yeah, I want... Well, I'd love to move the sacred site here or whatever, but I don't think we can do that. Disease does don't work and deal two damage to Dahan. Yeah, that, that would be annoying, but... All right, so we clean that up, and actually cleaning out the back end of the island there is nice. Means this mountain won't explore, potentially. Uh, we have two damage, which... I guess here, stop them building a city. Oh, I have, I have a secret site there. That means I could kill these two guys also means I could, like, stop them exploring this wetland and this mountain. That seems good. We got coastal problems, but we don't have inland problems. Let's go with that. We have a uh, Sands Ravage with two notable lands. That could be Stillness. It's a pretty good Stillness target. I don't really have a big rituals. So I think just like birds cry warning here, just in case they get a damage boost and perfect stillness here. That means we could gain another power card or we gain energy. Yeah, if we want to have a sacred site in here next turn, We want to do this. I don't know how important that is. We could also gain another power card. And just, like, put it here. We don't have a lot of extra energy. Well, we're gonna actually going to have the six. So we're going to have seven. We're going to have four extra energy after playing that. So that's major power territory for sure. Yeah, let's do that. Dissolve the bonds of kinship. That's pretty good here. Volcanic eruption, pretty good too, in some places. Pyroclastic flow, pretty good. I don't can't I can can't reach that land. 
though. Yeah, this is too expensive anyway. I think I like dissolve the bonds here. If we skip, then we just end up with one town in the land. Basically. And we're actually like not so far off the threshold for a later usage. So I like that. We just want to keep the cards with animal and water. I think we're not going to get to use that very much. So let's get rid of that and put this here. We could also like dissolve the bonds there. There's a couple places it would be good for. So we can decide later. Uh, and we want to make a sacred site from this as well. Maybe. Three card plays. We have energy. Or we could put it here. I think putting it in here is good. And we have stuff to play. This could deal with one of these lands pretty easily. With Dissolve, they deal Sweden damage. Yeah. Because it says the invaders deal damage. But we don't have the threshold. So it's still pretty good if you get the threshold. And we don't have to skip a Ravager build. Uh, we could always use this here to, like... Or we could strife the explorer to help make sure that even if they get a damage boost, he goes away. Maybe that's best. And man, I need more my elements. I need more earth. It's gonna give energy, I think. Unless there's a land where dealing damage helps, not really. I don't this is expensive and I don't think we have to do it, so. Oh, he didn't even have energy to, to do that, so it's the only option. Uh, in each land with at least two explorers. Uh, also, we're going to have damage from a beast. We can save that disease, or we can stop this build. Uh, defend one per Dahan. So this was super fine. Uh, so this is interesting because we can stop this one from pushing if we want. I kind of want them to have less in these lands so they can push as much as they want. Uh, I think in here is probably best. Disease is going to be doing its job, so that's fine. Oh, and I get to do it on each board, so ha ha ha. Ah, uh, no blight. I can send it back to the other board or kill this guy. I guess we kill this guy. Depend six in all coastal lands. The coast is... One turn off, that would be great to have next turn. It skipped the builds too. It skipped build actions that would add city. So that one, hey, that was good. And that one, and that one as well would have not built, so. But then they converted this guy. They didn't convert in here. They didn't explore in here. So the things we did worked. Uh, so where are we going to do this? It's either here or there. They both have like identical things, but this one has blight. Could also do it here, but that's less interesting. Russia, yeah, lots of ping pong explorers, especially when there's lots of beasts around. It's lots of fun. 
Uh, this right now is not adding blight. Oh, that's because of the defend six. Uh, it should that should not be showing that for the next turn. Uh, right there's five, eight, eleven, twelve damage. That shouldn't be showing that defend from the fear card. Can I make a note? That normally works, so there's something wrong with that fear card, probably. Or with the preview factoring in that fear card. So we'll fix that. The goal of the preview is to try to be accurate. <laughs> so you need defend five there. Um, oh wait, no, there's 12 damage, right? So we just need defend three. 10 damage adds blight. Yeah, so we just need to defend three or remove a town from there. This land's fine, that land's fine. This one isn't fine either in color. I was wondering, maybe we do call herders there. But then we do have the Dahan. Or we could just, oh, we could do the two damage there. We could also do almost kill everything there. And that's a wetland. Huh? I like doing that there. But also, damage here with the minus health. I think that says we do this here. And you can go in here. And this goes in here. Kills the explorers. And... Then this land is fine. This land... Can be solved by this, and we can perfect stillness this or something like that. Leave these to Han here because of the things coming up there. They can go like in here, I guess. All right. So Coastal Ravage, one land causing a problem right now. We have stage three coming here in a second. I think we're going to reclaim because 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 yeah. And here we're going to reclaim. Uh, I think I want to put presence in this land. We're kind of surrounding it with sacred sites, but also like it's fine. If we block the build, then we could uh, guard the healing land there also. It's not a bad idea. Maybe we put presence in here, and then we just don't worry about that land, really. So we stillness this. And if we're going to defend their next turn, we do whatever. Do this if they explore around here and stop a couple builds, I guess. That seems okay. 
We could try saving the animal cards. Actually, if we play this, this, and this, we're still short of fire, aren't we? We don't have fire, like, at all. We're not actually at the threshold, are we? Let's reclaim. We can block this build, I think. We can have a major now. Focus the land's anguish. Kind of like that. We could do that here. That does one or two damage per blight, and there's going to be three blight. Or there's land thrashes, which is also four damage. We never get the repeat, though, but this one, this one's more expensive, but also makes a ton of fear. These are great, too. I'm going to do this one. Can I afford it? Do I have sun? If I play... Yeah, we don't block the build. We let them build and we blow them up. Seems good. So I need to play cards with sun, which I have. I'm going to get rid of this one. And it has, it's one of the only cards that has Earth on it. I guess there's Drought. Uh, there's that. This one is free. Probably do that. Oh, we could stop the build here for one energy. Maybe we do that, then they don't get to... Exp oh, they still explore there, don't they? So that doesn't matter. Uh, and something else with sun. So something else that enables my innates. This one? Yeah, sort of either or, I guess. All right, just to make sure we're not missing anything. Yeah. Everything seems to be according to plan. Next explore card matches all lands. That actually is probably going to match fewer lands <laughs> than it would otherwise. That's kind of funny. Uh, sure. And the other thing, there were no land, there's no disease at all. Now we can reclaim power card or regain if we have presence with Dahan, which one of us does. But we don't have any cards to reclaim, so okay. We just, we both just reclaimed. So this does end up matching maybe a few more lands, but like pretty equivalent. I guess if they do go in here, but they don't build there, so like whatever. This is doing six damage, and we have five in there, so we could get one more friend to join. Can we stop? We could stop one build. That land just doesn't need stopping. We could stop two builds by pulling from there. From there. I think that's better. Uh, yeah, we can use the herders for this one, I guess. Does this push towns? It does push towns. Oh, that's even better. Okay. Let's let the explorers be there and blow up these towns. Fear party. We almost just win, I think, because there's one city. And I think we're getting to the terror level. Oh, we're not. Oh, we're still way away. Is that because of Sweden's fear cards are so many? Maybe. I don't know. I felt like we were further along in fear, but I guess we weren't. Two damage. 
Uh, two damage. What does it do? It stops a build here. Okay, this Ravage is going to be fine because we're going to make a Sacred Site. This one is probably just going to be blocked. This one we can defend. So, all right, let's get another major power. Irresistible Call, LOL. Doesn't do, I guess we could use it like somewhere. It is fun. So is Poisoned Land. Uh, Irresistible Call, like, could make one big land somewhere. It doesn't actually do a whole lot because I guess here it does the most. It stops builds in a couple lands. It doesn't stop it here because that's a city. And then they do build in this land, but it stops this Ravage. It is great. I do love to click on that card. All right. It's like the ultimate version of that card, isn't it? Uh, let's add a presence. Three card plays. I think we have enough energy for that. We don't actually have to defend this anymore because we're drawing them away. Can we get the threshold? I don't think we have enough air. Man, Elemental Boom would have been like someone's friend here, right? I don't know if we want to look to pick it up. Um... We could dissolve the bonds of that land. We could dissolve the bonds here. Uh, in the slow phase after they build from the city. But it doesn't actually matter that much. This does convert a Dahan to an Explorer, which I don't love. I'm just going to click on these for now, but let's see what happens over here. I think we probably gain a power card. Right now we have... Four energy for four cards. We get a free miner. Oh, we, or, oh, we don't even need free. We can get a miner that costs money. We can play it. Enticing Splendor. So everything around this land except the city is gone. So these have my... They don't have earth... Earth is my weakness. I still only have one. Well, I have one more. So I'm going to get that level, but not the later ones. Add disease. I'm thinking about a second wave on this map. So maybe uh, adding disease is a good idea. Let's add a presence. Make a sacred site here. For the minus health, we can blow it up. Just play all your cards. Look, we're short one earth. Maybe we get the permanent element event. I don't know what I'm doing with Bird's Cry Warning, but I clicked it. Is it better to click something else? Remove Blight? If we're planning to win the game, which we might win the game in the slow phase here, I should remove Blight. So, let's do this. I want to leave Dahan in there. Because of Call to Tend. They're min they're mini now. Uh, we can put defend in there in case we get something that like pushes things. So now there is no ravage. They are building in two lands, which you could skip. 
What are we even doing in here, by the way? <laughs> I think we skip them building the city, right? In there. And we're going to destroy this city. And so... And the town. So we strike the town in here. Plus three damage per land when ravaging in lands of presence. Well, that's fine. It's just that land. It's still not enough. Seven. Aha! Each beast destroys an explorer. Oh, we get to add a beast. Uh, let's put it here in the back corner. We can use a slow power now. Uh, is there any reason to do that? I don't think so. We get two fear cards. We get a big defend. And we add strife to town, minus one health per strife. Okay. You? Why can't I pick it? Oh, I have to click the land. Okay. And you're just going to lose your strife when you ravage. Eric, exploring more in the jungle. Okay. This does kill both the towns in there. It leaves the city alive there, though. Well, this just kills all this. That seems good. We have a Ravage here, but we can just... Man, there's so many Dawn there. We only pulled five Dahan. How are there so many Dahan in there? Were there some Dahan in before? There must have been two before. Can we do something about this land? I mean, we can... We get... Uh, indomitable Claim, I guess. There's so many... We just need something that kills all the explorers, right? We're still... We're not that far away from... Uh, dealing with it, but we're not winning. That's the thing. One fear and disease. Here? And this build is not a big deal. I mean, none of the builds are a big deal. So we kill a town, I guess. Hello, Licky00. Zero zero. This is a hilarious little land. It's like munchkins. Uh... We could irresistible call them to a different land. <laughs> that is a thing we could do. Let's see what we get for the card here. Yeah, we have a uh, earth aspect here. Do we want a major power? We don't really want to use that. I want like something that hits all the explorers in the fast base. Or defend 20 or whatever. Let's take a major power. We'll forget the other one if we get a good one. Ooh, the ones that deal damage based on Dahan. Yes, two damage per Dahan. 
14 damage. That kills everything except one explorer. That seems good. We could also just let the Ravage happen as well. 7 damage, defend 14. This one has Earth on it. And it's cheaper. This one, of course, 1 damage each invader is great, but it's slow. And this is good too, but also not a big deal. So let's click this and maybe we save this for our second wave power. Get rid of that. I don't hit the threshold on this, but we do get Earth, which we want. So we just like try to hit our other innates. This? How am I not hitting anything? I need fire and air. I don't think fire in the sky does anything. That looks good. What does aspect selection process look like? It is pretty much like variance in uh, Sentinels of the Multiverse, yeah. Uh, so we don't really need Irresistible Call unless we want to use it like to do nothing. I don't know. Let's just get a different major power. I think we're fine. Uh, or we could get, honestly, we could get a minor power and try to get something that thresholds this. If we get a card with water and animal and fire, like exactly the same elements, that seems unlikely. Let's take a different major power. Vengeance of the Dead. Infestations of Spiders. Eh. Getting more fear makes us get closer to winning the game. So that's good. We can afford this. We actually can't afford the other ones. So why don't we do that? I mean, maybe we get more energy, but whatever. We could probably get more energy, which we are getting more energy. More presents in there. I'm just going to click on these because surely something will happen. Ooh, I can deal damage in adjacent lands. I can kill the city. Maybe this is how we win. Yeah, we actually win by doing this. LOL. Did we want to not win yet? I think... Actually, we want... The Han to be over here? <laughs> We're winning right now, so if there's too many Dahan, there's seven Dahan, right? Second wave says I think if there's if there's eight. Uh and having two Dahan on this board is fine because they'll make a new one. I think we're okay that way. We're not removing blight or adding tokens with any of these cards. Yeah, maybe we'll just put... Oh, I want... Oh, that's... I can't even move the Dahan. Okay, whatever. Oh, no, it was at this I could move the Dahan. Let's push... Two Dahan in here. I think if there's four, you get a new one, right? Is that the case? Maybe that's not the case. Let's put one in here. Put a second wave, say. Second wave says, in board with two to four, add one to the lowest number. So four is okay. 
If there were nine or more, we would remove some. Uh, so, let's put them in here. They get bigger. Vengeance of the Dead winning the game for us, by the way. I think we were going to win anyway. Alright, we can do second wave and bring another aspect. Uh, second wave. So you can see the aspect on the spirit here. Resilience. All right, it's going to be Irresistible Call because that's irresistible. And Focus a Lance Anguish. I mean, this is pretty good too, especially in combination with Irresistible Call. Yeah, I'm going to click that. Vigor would be even better, which we could have just picked because of what we were doing. That's fine though. Let's split them up like this. We get a new one. Uh, hey, it automatically picked one for us. We got the wind aspect of Lightning Swift Strike. So this removes Lightning's special rule. If you want to see Licky how you choose them, you click the Aspects button, it changes the panel uh, to show you what aspect you are. Uh, so we have a power. So instead of always, or having the opportunity to always make our powers fast, we can let other spirits make powers fast. Non-major powers, uh, and you get increased range, you get pushing explorers, potentially repeating, so. Uh, and we're going one level up on the adversary because we didn't blight the island because Earth was too good, I guess. So let's see what happens. Maybe we'll win, maybe we'll lose in the second wave. Click a land to add presents. This is for sharp fangs. I guess I'll go over here with this beast. Oh, and lightning's here with me in the corner. Is that you in the corner? Maybe we'll just share. It'd be interesting to uh, say you have to have presents together. You're not allowed to have presents separate. I guess that means you can never grow into new lands or you have to coordinate growing into new lands together. Uh, so they got royal backing because we're up to level five. Or, yeah, well they had well, they, they have mining they had royal backing before, but mining rush when ravaging adds at least one blight and also add a town. I guess we had royal backing last game and we didn't even pay attention. So they are going into the wetlands. This is this is actually not happening. Oh, because the they moved the town right in the set up uh, I don't know usually there's supposed to be a town in reach of that but maybe not for whatever reason uh, they didn't so this is a dangerous land obviously uh, we don't have a good way to deal with that except by blowing things up with lightning, which I think we will have to plan to do because we don't have anything else, at least right now. And, oh, second, yeah, I was like, what moved the town? Second wave moves the town, right? They move closer to the coast. So that's why. This town would have been here, but it just started here instead. So yeah, no build there, but a bigger build here because of that. Uh, Sharp Fangs can probably stop one or more of these builds, or Terrifying Chase exists, so 
I'm wondering if we can get to both of them is the thing. Uh, I don't think so because of where they're separate, they're distributed. But we could certainly like either terrifying chase or prey on the builders or ranging hunt one of them. We can gain a new power card and maybe we get it to the wrong. Usually we're going to gain a power card here, right? Maybe we get something cool. Uh, we got treacherous waterways. Which does stop a build for us. The elements are bad. But I'm going to click on it. Because if we can stop them in their tracks here, that's going to be good. So if we use that, we definitely don't get... Well, we get Ranging Hunt. If we don't get Ranging Hunt to do damage, but we get it to get Terrifying Chase or Train the Builders, which is what we're going to do. So I'm going to put... Just start getting presence in some of these lands that we're far away from in case we need to start hitting them with beasts. Uh... And so that takes care of one of them. Doesn't really matter which one. And either Terrifying Chase or Prey in the Builders. This makes fear. I think I'll do that. This can help in other situations. So, And Earth, our Lightning, is going to... Oh, we actually are... If we play cards, we could prevent the build with Terrifying Chase. That's Or use... Too near the jungle to prevent the build. I think I want to not play cards this turn, though. Let's all be together. I think I want to be able to destroy the city next turn. Can I do that? If I get lucky with my... Oh, I don't have a... Yeah, I don't, I don't think it, I can do that, right? I can't get to destroy a city next turn. In which case, I need to stop them building a town this turn. Or building a city this turn. Which means we can save a little money and do that. And then next turn, we do this so that we can destroy the town again. Or maybe we get a defend card. You know, things are possible. We could even... We could get in there. Oh, we can't easily get in with Ranging Hunt. We can get in with a Ranging Hunt and do stuff too. Hmm. Because... Oh, I got an exception. This was working before. What's going on with this? Uh, is my power not working? Oh. It has a problem with sharp fangs. Specifically, so the power is not going to work. So, I think what we're going to do is actually play a different game so we can actually show it. Because uh, otherwise, I don't think this power is going to work with sharp things at all, based on the exception I was looking at there. So because Sharp Fang's presence can move, and it was complaining about that for some reason. Yeah, so I, it, it's not gonna let me use this, use the power. So let's just abort this game and start a new game with Lightning Wind. Or River Sunshine. Why not both? Uh, 
All right, so we have Sunshine River, who has a new power. Uh, target Spirit gains energy equal to one less than the highest uncovered number on your energy track. Um, and you can gain the energy too. You can also remove Blight. Uh, but you don't get Boon of Vigor. So there's a setup change as well. But you start with one energy. So, you know, there's some give and take. Uh, and Wind uh, is what we just saw. So uh, let's do England. England at level... Three. Maybe not so high, because I only have half an hour left. Let's just do England too. No high immigration. All right, two aspects. And hopefully no bugs. <laughs> but that's why we have the game in development, as we are testing and finding bugs, showing them to you on the stream. All right, so uh, so one interesting thing with Sunshine River is you, it's nice to get to that two energy earlier because otherwise your power doesn't do anything. So that is what I'm going to do, I think. And they're building in the mountains. They've got a big land here already. Uh, let's go up this way so we can stop them building in the back. We'll use flash flood. Flash floods. We're gonna be giving energy over to lightning. I think it's gonna be nice. Yeah, we can stop that build, push the stuff out of here. I think is reasonable. And yeah, lightning. Gonna lightning. This is just a light, uh, probably. But this one we can deal with next turn pretty handily. We'll still go up the energy track, I think. I want to actually be there so I can be next to this. I think I do. I'm two away. I don't want to be also two away from it over here. And we could just not play cars this turn, I think. Classic. Classic lightning still works. Uh, we could, like, make river go fast if we wanted. We could actually stop two builds if we play a card. Maybe we... You know what? Let's do that. What are we going to do? Harbinge? We can harbinge. Which means we can do this, and then we can send you in there, destroy you, and give one energy to you. And I don't think I use Harbingers now. I just wait and see where we want to, what we want to do with it later. River is your most played spirit. Cool. Yeah, River's fun. They explored in the wetlands, which means we'll probably send some Dahan in here. Oh, right. It's England. They built anyway. I forgot. <laughs> did they build literally everywhere where we thought they weren't going to build? Yeah, they definitely did. Uh, whoops. Okay. So... I should remember how the game works, shouldn't I? Make more Dahan here. We're going to need it. It's okay. We can still go fast again. <laughs> uh, Harbingers of the Lightning. Let's... Oh, the Dahan aren't where I want them. I can't reach them. I didn't get the range boost. They're actually really in not convenient places at all. All right, I'm just going to send them between these two lands. All right, now we're playing England in a way that is bad. 
let's try to remember what we're doing. So I feel like gain a power card here, maybe, but I don't have any sun left. So reclaiming could be okay. Not having a lot of cards is one of the downsides of this aspect. Uh, lightning can save the day, I believe, with this growth. Let's do that. We can save the day in a couple spots. We also get plus one range and destroy a town so we can try to recover from our foolishness. We have Wash Away as well. So let's just gain a power card. We can use Wash Away fast, so. Oh, hey, defend six. So we could throw a defend into here. It would be nice if uh, there were Dahan, but there aren't. We can have Earth like often enough that this is going to work. None of these elements are good at all, by the way, except the Earth. Uh, let's let's grab Carapace Land because we are going to have enough range, uh, and we're going to have plus one range, so we could actually go in here and have a Sacred Site. So we're going to do this and defend here. We can wash away this guy into here. Shatter this. And Lightning's Wound may as well use that on herself. deal with that and stop this. This doesn't actually stop it, right? Because England. Because England. Maybe we wait and use Raging Storm somewhere else. Maybe we get to kill two explorers. Or they have minus health or something like that. Each city does plus two damage. Rude. That is very rude. Add disease, ignore disease. Okay, well, this is going to be a bad place, and so is that, but it's already got a disease, but it's going to continue being a bad place, so. No fear card. They blight that anyway. They're building a ton of stuff. All right, I don't think there's any sands where Raging Storm does a whole lot. Because, I mean, here it makes this less. In case they get a damage boost, so let's do that. Doesn't stop a build anywhere. Let's reclaim on both spirits. Minor powers. Could take a major, actually. I had a lot of energy. Uh, Soaring Wasps goes to... These are all Lightning's cards. <laughs> Look at them. Look at them. Uh, wow. Well, we have Elusive Ambushes or Call to Isolation are pretty solid. I kind of like Call to Isolation. Elusive Ambushes, though, is just great. I have energy. It's just great. Oh, but wait. No, that's the wrong spirit. <laughs> no! These are the wrong cards for the wrong spirits. What are you going to do? Uh, or Lightning. 
We want air, fire, man, we can, we don't get to pick all of them. Rain of blood. Let's pick river first. Oh my gosh, there's just the opposite. Uh, does fire in the sky do something? It does solve one land here. If I have three earth, I can destroy a town. Which I could destroy the town instead of strafing it. Cards come out in the wrong order. I wouldn't say always, but when they do, you remember. Uh, the problem is, like, I could just, like, flash flood that town. And that would be fine. Steam vents is more on element, but this does have sun. Yeah, fire in the sky is too useful with England, I think. And yes, these are not the cards that we wanted, but they're the cards that we have. We can def we can use this to defend next turn in that land. I think is probably the pick. It says fire, which is good to... It's not free. This is free, but I think the defend four is going to be useful. So I think that's probably just blighting. We do want to defend there. Actually, defend four is enough there. So maybe we do the little tradesies. We only have two card plays. I feel sad. If we get the range, well, we could carapace land here. It's not enough. It's not enough unless I play wash away. I could wash away those two. Okay. I feel like we can't do enough. We do that and that. We're not getting the range boost. We don't have enough air. So we do defend Carapace land here. We wash away these guys. We defend here and destroy the town. And that blights. I think that's what's going to happen. So now we just have, yeah, we end up with one blight. I don't want them to be all grouped together. They can be a little bit grouped together. They have disease there. They can't build that fast. Oh. Choose a land with buildings ravaged there. Well, it's going to be here. And then it's going to be here. That means actually we're going to get to kill the city. Three or more Dahan. Well, they're already dead. Scapegoats level one. Not too exciting. But hey, it's killing a few explorers. Ow. Man, if that last draw had turned, lightning had got those cards, that would have been so nice. <laughs> uh, all right, build in the land. It's going to be this one. This one, it's not going to be that. Well, yeah. I guess escalating is fine here.
because otherwise they're going to start escalating here all the time. Maybe it's fine if they escalate there all the time. River can get back in there. Try to make that more manageable. Okay. So we could, if we reclaim, we have ambushes for that. Shatter can deal with that. We can probably def maybe defend this or do something there. Oh, and we're going to have to get rid of that, too. Uh, so let's... Send this Dahan in here. I don't want to send a lone Dahan. But I might have to. I guess this, this Dahan can join here. That's fine. If we defend that, then... Can we get to reclaim one? Yeah, we can get to reclaim one. Okay. Let's go in here. I might actually not need to go in there. Let's see. We might, if we get the range boost. I'm going to reclaim Carapace land. I don't have earth, but I can strife the city and defend three. And then they almost all die from the Dahan, so that's pretty good. Uh, here we kind of have to reclaim or we can't deal with life. So let's see what we get. Dry wood explodes. And we wanted to play this for there. I mean, we could just blow it up, but let's see what we got. So, probably want Shatter Homesteads. Yeah, the problem is this doesn't have air. And so it, we don't get the range boost. Drywood explodes is so versatile. Yeah, it is range zero, but I do have, I have plus one range now, so that helps. It means we can stop this build because there won't be buildings around. We can actually stop an England build. And we can actually stop this build, maybe, as well. Uh, so let's get to reclaim one. Now we don't have to go over there. We can actually get a sac our sacred site back here again, which I want to do. Can we get to play another card? Flash Floods actually stops a build there. Uh, River's Bound. We have so much energy. What's going on? I think this is a pretty good setup. So we need to get our range boost. So we can Carapace land here. Strife the city. Give more energy. Do that. So there's only going to be one town here now. So that should hopefully stop the build. And we want to get rid of this. And we do want to get rid of... Oh, right. Oh, that was our... So... Fear card trust fall for this one? I think so. I think we just hope... I mean, worst case, we get a Blight and lose a Presence. But there is... There are Dahan there to hit back, so... We'll see what happens. Dahan have plus... 10 health. Maybe we don't lose Dahan. Invaders have plus 1 health. That's not good. 
Uh, this is also bad, though. We don't get defend. Uh, I mean, we're only defending in one place. It would mean that two Dahan die there. And it would mean they build in that place. Whereas, yeah, the first one we could choose the towns and they don't build there. So I think it's the first one. Yay, plus healths. Uh, four more buildings and four fewer Dahan. I don't think there is one of those. We have lots of Dahan. Remove one from a land with disease. Uh, sure, probably this one because this one is the one that's doing stuff. A little town, though. England. have two aspects going in this game, sunshine and wind. Coastal lands has returned. All right. So we have a mountain ravage coming up. Two cascades, but we can shatter homesteads here. Because, yeah, we don't have other sacred sites, but because of our range boost, we were able to hit that. That was good. Um, and Harbingers. Does Harbingers want to Harbinge in there? Maybe it does. Harbinge could go in here. And we could defend four, which is enough, actually. Yeah, so I think we Harbinge in there. With our super stacks. I think we are going to not reclaim this turn, so. Uh, okay. You might reclaim. Actually, maybe not. Maybe we reclaim one and gain a power card. We get a major card? We get a major. You get a major. Ooh, unrelenting growth or intonable claim. Man! Why do you have to make me choose? <laughs> I feel like Unrelenting Growth is just hilariously good here. Claim is great, but this is the pick. No one should have to make that decision. I mean, these cards exist as well, but not really when you're looking at those. Uh, so it's Wash Away. I love Wash... Actually, it's Carapace Land, right? We probably don't need that now. When we can just do a million... So, I don't need to have, a, like, there's nothing happening here. We don't need to have presence there. I think I want to have presence in this land or, well, it's coastal lands. So, getting a sacred site right here, I think, is good. Oh, River's Bounty, though. River's Bounty making a new Dahan here might be worthwhile. So, is it four card plays or up the energy track? I think it's four card plays for next turn, right? Pen yeah, Pen of Calamity is very good, but it's... We're comparing it with Unrelenting Growth and Indomitable Claim. <laughs> uh, we don't have Plant for this, but honestly, that's not a big deal. Uh... And if we play a water and sun, we get a bunch of energy. Well, not a bunch, but like a little bit. And yeah, we haven't picked, we haven't found the glorious air, water, earth card that exists in the deck. Well, there's encompassing ward, but there's also the, the one that moves stuff in coastal lands, whatever it's called. Uh, so we're gonna pick flash floods. I guess so. It pays for itself. 
with that and these effects, so. Okay, what you doing, Lightning? Are we gaining energy? Are we playing? I think we are adding two presents, right? We get up to five card plays. Not for this turn, but for... But we're also... Maybe we're going to get unrelenting growth, right? Maybe we take the energy, the plus three energy, and yeah, I think that's actually better. Let's go here. And then we can see those coastal lands. We have range one for these things. We can destroy a town here, wherever. That sometimes an eight replace a normal one. Yeah, that would be very bad. I mean, it's still like I don't know if it's a great aspect. It's it's kind of hard to play, but um, oh, we can do unrelenting growth fast. Ho ho ho! So this is gonna get defend for. And that's, in theory, solved. There's no Blight. I don't know that we can actually stop any builds. Um, wind is additive. Uh, yeah. Wind adds the additional power. Yeah, if you only... If you... If you, that would be crazy. Like, that, yeah, it would be silly if you... <laughs> you definitely add them. It says whether to replace it or just not to replace it to add. If it doesn't say replace, then you add it. Uh, I'm just thinking of what... I mean, this... This could be... If I use this on myself, we could get more energy. Use it on lightning. Lightning gets to play five cards next turn, which seems really good. Seems very good. More than really. Very. We're not getting elements, so... With Flash Floods and Raging Storm, we can destroy a city? So we could just blow that up and not defend it? BT dub? I kind of like that, because then they don't even build. So that looks like this and this. This is going to go like later. So lightning's boon. I mean, they still they do still build there anyway, don't they? But it means that they don't have to build here. But they do, because we don't have... Well, they don't, because we could... <laughs> huh. We can have... We could, could have done... Massive flooding here. And... Flash floods here. You know what? We can actually stop them... I wish we could do things in all the lands. <laughs> we could stop them building there. I mean, they are ravaging there. I feel like we're not taking advantage of the Dahan as much if we don't defend. So let's... The defend is more is four is worth four damage, right? So that's more efficient there. They still build, but they don't have to build here. Because there's not gonna be buildings. And they don't have to I, they're 
we destroy these buildings, I don't have to build any other places. So if we raging storm there. I wish I had one more damage. Well, you know what? If I flash flood, that means that they don't build here and we can make them not build in one of these lands. Or like one of it. Yeah, one of these wetlands. This wetland lets them see here. This city here is causing problems, so let's do that. Now they don't see here. They don't build there. I think that's good. Also unrelenting growth. Or we could, I mean, we could use Thundering Destruction and they save the disease there. We can thunder destruction the town they built there, though. I don't know if unrelenting growth. It has wilds. That could do something. And river's bounty also does something by, yeah, that does something. Okay, let's do this. Where do we want presence and also wilds? This is wetlands or jungle or sands. Maybe here. Maybe here. I think here I want to be next to this. So I'm going to put it here. Okay. I'm sure there's lots of things we could do, but... Plus one damage per land. Uh, that sucks. That's a cascade. Destroy one in the land. We have a fear card, so there's a chance that it does something. And push three to haunt from land of disease. There aren't any... Add strife. Oh my gosh, that's very useful. <laughs> okay. Now they're not cascading. Now they're dying. Uh, maybe strife just goes on this guy. Is he dying? I don't think he's dying, right? So. I mean, he might be dying later, but now he doesn't have to die. All right, there's a problem. There's your problem. It's sands. So they're escalating. Uh, how about there? I know they're exploring there, but these ones are ravaging next turn. We'll get there. And this one it's happening. So, we don't have our defend card anymore. anymore. I'm just going to make sure we don't have to worry about that land. Now the Ravage is all sorted except for this board. Maybe I should have hit this one. It's fine. There's a lot of blight there. Maybe let's... If something's going to be a problem, it's like that one, okay, or that one of those, so let's do that. All right, we need to reclaim up here. Add strength. That would have been good here, actually, on that card. And you're reclaiming and taking a minor. Transing apparitions. That's 
pretty good actually. Sap the strength, also good. This is like 13, huh? I don't think we can defend that. I think we just have to remove the blight. So the only way we have for that is voracious growth or unrelenting growth. But we don't have the elements for that. I mean, we can add a bunch of strife in there and stuff, but that's really temporary. It is very off element. I mean, how many... I can play five cards. If these are enough on element, I can blow up two cities, but I don't think I have that. If I Let's just click and see. That one for sure, that one for sure, that one for sure. That one, and a fire and water. That kills the cities. And shatter homesteads, another one. And this pushes one. And river gets its super innate. Okay. Actually, with river super innate, maybe everything is fine. Well, let's see what river's doing. Probably that, probably that. That means we don't play Unrelenting Growth. We also have Push... Push Explorers from your lands, yeah. Which helps with this land. River's Bounty. Ooh, we're so close to getting both of these. Remove one Blight from one of their lands with Dahan. So specific. We don't have that. Not yet, anyway. I mean, this activates. And we could do this instead. I think we need the Flash Floods, though, this turn, for reasons. Who wants to push Explorers? Uh, actually, like, like, River just takes care of that on its own. Which is kind of hilarious. With one slow power. So, River wants to push an explorer. Maybe we'll push this guy just in case. They get a damage boost. Oh no, he, the river's doing one damage to everything. So, no, don't do that. Uh, go in there. And... here. Looks like put more guys in here. And this is our... Can we push more stuff in here? If I use Lightning's Boon, we could, but I want... Do I want to use something else? I think I want to use this Actually, I could just use that there. 
in this actual slow phase. So we do want to blow up this. So River could like do a wash away. Wash away can stop a blight up here. So I think River's getting lightning spoon. I don't think we're pushing more things into there. So, uh, yeah. Oh no, two cities, what are you going to do? We're going to use flash floods. And get a heck ton of fear. And Lightning's Boon is going to go over to River. Who is going to... I mean, we could just strike the town here. That's also fair. Then they all take a damage and one of them dies. Okay. Go in there. I want more cities to blow up. Ah, ha, ha. And... I can pay to get rid of this guy. And now there's no invaders on this board. At all. They're not building there. They are building in a couple places here, but we're going to blow it. To heck. And... can bring some Dahan in here. We have there's no Dahan nearby. Huh. There are no Dahan friends there. Let's bring Dahan friends here. And give energy. Lesser spirits imperiled, aided by plant. We have one plant. We could get a permanent element. Permanent element is very good. Uh, we don't have a lot to do. I guess we could forget that. That gives us four. And discard that and pay a bit. I guess that's okay. Destroying presence is not a big deal. Probably was going to reclaim anyway, right? Pay one energy. And you forget. And right. Shouldn't we still have... That was... Oh, right. We had one extra because of the one in the night. Yeah. That's fine. Lightning... Actually, River should pay that. Let's do lightning first. This, we had one, but we netted. We needed two more energy to pay. Uh, okay. I don't think any presence in this land now. And that one. I think having a sun all the time. Actually, we, if we have the plant. We're still not coming close to this, right? Yeah. We have sun cards without water. We have one sun card that doesn't have water. I feel like more of the time we're going to want to play Wash Away and stuff. So let's take the sun. And over here, either fire or air. Let's take air for the windiness. Push beast to land without buildings one fear if explorers are present there well guess what explorers are present there a whole bunch of them and you can go somewhere gather to han into a land uh sure And here. Come closer. Defend. Okay. 
removed or Malamuth Blight. Uh, get rid of those two guys. I want the towns to be there so they build a city. <laughs> I'm destroying two cities. I'm greedy that way. Exploring into wetlands. Weep for what is lost. Will take effect. That's the only land where it works. Uh, so let's use it. And you can go here. And we can destroy two cities. Oh, they escalated there as well. Oh, I lost my element. No! I guess I should have clicked fire. Ah, uh, well. It's probably fine. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, we care about it. striping and pushing into Han. And I want more to Han to be in here. I think we just like take another heck of a turn here, right? Maybe we get something else with elements. We get spur on with great elements. And five energy. I don't quite get the top of this. I could repeat it. I mean, River can also probably just kill everything in there. <laughs> I think we're overkilling here. River want another major? A different major? I don't think we need unrelenting growth anymore. Cleansing floods, 10 damage. Okay. I, I don't think I, oh, can I just play it? I don't have enough energy for it. That's unfortunate. These are all too expensive. All right, I think I'm playing Raging Storm instead, actually. Ooh, repeat this power. doesn't do a whole lot. Are we going to win by killing the city? No, we have to kill this town as well. So we're not going to win just yet. Ooh, remove Blight from one of their lands with Dahan. I can do that. I can do it. And you may. You might not want to. All right, uh, the last town is here. Oh, I could play another card. Does that get me the water? Yeah, now I can do everything. I have fully unlocked everything, except there's only one town left. <laughs> I need to kill everything. I, I won't kill everything. There's going to be one guy left. You move here. And then move here. And I can use it again. 
Oh, it's only non-major powers, but why can't I use Raging Storm? Oh, I'm repeating it. I need to make that... You know what? I need to make that thing say... When repeating... Power is self-repeating. Make the hint text clear what to do. Because it just says drag a power to use it, but that's the only one. It should say, like, drag that power, because you have to drag that power. Uh, all right. Now you can push into here. And Lightning Swift Strike doesn't have one. Oh, it could. It could. No, I, I can't. It can't. Fine. This is silly. We're just being silly. So I should get to use two hours fast. Oh, there's another town here. Where'd he come from? Go in there. Luckily, I can destroy any number of towns. Victory. Okay. Playing with my food a little bit there. But that has been uh, three out of the six aspects uh, in Jagged Earth. So stay tuned for more previews. Uh, we saw Sunshine River and Wind Lightning along with Resilience Earth. And there'll be more to come in the coming streams and everything. So uh, things are going pretty well in development. Uh, we also have Fractured Days Split the Sky uh, going pretty well uh, in beta testing. And so yeah, lots of fun stuff coming up soon for Jagged Earth and the next update. So uh, watch out for that. Tune in to uh, Dolphin's Dive and Spirit Island Sundays uh, for more uh, first looks. Yeah, Fractured Days is quite a thing. Um, and yeah, also watch out for One Deck Galaxy launch is coming soon. I don't have a release date exactly for that, but it is soon, TM. Uh, all right, that's going to be it for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.